had Jammu and Kashmir's distinct identity within the constitution of India not been compromised, had New Delhi not felt threatened by a state that had not fully merged into the union with its accession, then uh, I, I, I know history is full of questions, what if this had happened, what if that had happened, but, but I dare say if we had respected the agreement that had been entered into between the union and the people of Jammu Kashmir after accession in 1947, we would not be dealing with, with, with an alienated Jammu and Kashmir today. We would not be dealing with a bloody Jammu and Kashmir today. We would not be dealing with a Jammu and Kashmir where our neighbor has found it so easy to make life difficult for us in that state. And uh, Jammu and Kashmir in effect could have actually been used as a template for other states as well. Because at the end of the day, the union this, this belief that we have that, that uh, a strong union is what is required for a strong country. Well, sure, of course we want a strong union, but that strong union can't come at the cost of states. Where does it stay, say that for a strong union you have to have weak states? I will in fact turn that on its head and say that you could only really have a strong union if you have strong states. Today, India is not as strong as it could be. Because we are facing problems in numerous states, Jammu and Kashmir is not unique in that example, in, in, in that respect. Whether it's the Maoist insurgency in parts of the country, whether it is the problems that we face from time to time in the northeast, whether it is, of course, the problem in Jammu and Kashmir. The fact is that that states that have been weakened have held the union back from from progressing and, and proceeding the way we ought to have done. And, and therefore, if anything needs to be done, we need to we need to strengthen India's federal character. 